Hey team, so we're gonna be doing another unboxing, but this time we're gonna unbox a off-brand keypad. I like something that I can switch the profiles on and have different macro key setups and stuff like that. So, hey, I really need to replace my razor or weaver, so I got this El Cheapo one from Amazon. So we're gonna try, we're gonna open that today. Um, left my green screen on, so I apologize if this is not your normal, usual unboxing video. But no worries, we got the goods here and we're gonna open it up. To be honest, this is so off-brand, I don't even remember the brand name of what it's called. I think I just picked the cheapest one and ordered it because I needed to super replace this. Like, really needed to replace it. Um, I'll show you the, the extent of the damage. It was to a point where I couldn't use the escape key. So this is the Orb Weaver. This is the one I normally game on. The rubber comfort pad fell off a long time ago. It has a lot of, I guess, like scratches and it just started deteriorating and I've only had it for nine months. Um, so I don't know if I want to buy this specifically ever again. It was $190 when I bought it, Canadian. $190 Canadian. So for nine months to me, it doesn't seem monetarily make any sense. So I wanted to buy an off brand and see if I actually, maybe I'm just too rough with um, my belongings. With this, you could see the paint has chipped quite a bit. Um, I do game with long nails sometimes. So I thought maybe it was just my long nails, but then it started chipping kind of across the board. So um, I think it's just the way the paint is. I'm really unsure. The keys sometimes, um, you know, like the W key is kind of slow. Um, some keys don't register. My escape key doesn't register sometimes. It's completely, completely broken. Um, this right here, oh, you can, you can totally tell. It literally... just doesn't hi so you know funds are low your girl got off brand if I could save a dollar I'm gonna save a dollar you know I don't even remember the brand it's definitely not your like typical gaming brand all right so boom I I don't even know how to call this so the brand name is called Game Sir. Sir. <laughs> like S I R. So let's take it out of the package. Game Sir. I'm sorry if it's really blurry, but Game Sir. It's, yeah. RGB LED blacklit, mechanical switches, agronomic palm rests, programmable keys, and built in remapper. That's like everything that I need. I'm oddly optimistic for this. It looks really good. Um, from unboxing my Orb Weaver, this packaging already looks like phenomenal. Okay, let's clear this desk a little bit. All right. Okay, so yeah, I guess let's just crack her open. She has a la label, a <laughs> sticker, just sealing it. Um, I love how I just, oh my goodness. For the first time ever, I actually have like scissors ready to go. I was at, um, cutting up some of my, what are they called? Like tie things, those plastic ties, zip ties. I was cutting those because I use zip ties to organize my cords and I reorganized my cords for my PC. <laughs> and that's why oh, I have scissors in here. Okay, so that was a little bit of a struggle, but I did open the box. So here it is. A solid opening boom and there's the merchandise really nice that they have it like just on display there this is a card from game sir dear customer thank you for giving up to me uh, thank you for giving us an opportunity to grow faster and build the idea that was a mere thought whenever you play with wired or wireless devices on mobile pc or consoles for first person shooters mobas or rts games we wish to be your best companion we look forward to building and strengthening our relationship hope that we can contribute and materializing your ideas in the future we sincerely invite you to the membership for exclusive benefits okay cute thank you game sir all right so there's a plastic covering you know gotta keep the goods safe we open
open these this plastic part. We open that up. This bad boy. Done and dusted. All right, now what reveals left is literally the merchandise. Okay, not the best packaging in the world, but it gets the job done. Um, I guess we're done with this box, but I'll pop this thing. It is huge. It's literally like half a size of a laptop. Um, cord, dunk it out. Plastic thing. Save the oceans. Recycle. Has the user manual. Small little nook nook thing. And here it is. It's actually really massive compared to my broken orb weaver. It is like... Okay, you can't really... You could see it. This one's like way bigger than this one. Like wider. And more buttons. There's more buttons. And they have like this fin. Sorry. This fin. They have this fin. Which is nice. Damn! This thing is a beast! I'm excited to use this! Oh my lord! And they also have textured um, arrow keys. So for the AWSD, it's textured. So it feels slightly different from the other keys, which is... Wow! Because you know normally they have like um, on the S, they have a little dash where you can feel the center. But, you know, this one's textured. It has like a little weave-in part. So that actually looks really good. This is, um, from the looks of it, looks really well. I think these buttons, the grayed out ones, are like the same similar paint as what Razer uses on there. So it will probably start chipping. I'm not sure though. Um, but it looks like the keys themselves are actually like, not enameled, but you know, not painted. So they probably won't chip for a while, but this looks like a pretty good. What I don't like is it doesn't have the elevated um, cushion for your hand, which I liked about this one, but the cushion came off really fast on this one. So um, it wasn't actually that helpful. But when I, when it did exist, I really enjoyed it. Um, but for this, it looks like really well done. It looks really well made and it fits comfortably and I guess we don't really know until we use it so I'm gonna go right ahead and bloop that up set it up and we'll see how it goes in tonight's stream I'll add a little clip to this video as well All right well we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna set it up live on stream and that is pretty much the gist of this video and hopefully if you have any questions please comment please like and subscribe all that type of stuff because I'm here for you guys. So let me know what you guys think and I'll let you know about this product. So see you guys later and see you in the next stream. Bye!